point. So now it'll have a much different look, and it'd be interesting to see what the guys in the front do now that there's a quote-unquote am in the car and see if they have a shot at him. How important is... Oh, we've lost a wheel on the one! Jonathan Chicotto, as he went through, no wonder the corner worker was looking at it, the diff on the car trying to put drive into the right-hand side, and the lock nut is gone there, so that isn't a failure necessarily. How, what an odd thing. You do, it's not as if they've changed tyres during that pit stop. And a lot of people re-talked that central nut and noticed the one team did not. So a lot of times with with these cars, the drive pins that you can see just there in the wheels, they start to ratchet. And so you'll see the guys torque them. And I would assume that they got those torqued, but who knows? Yeah, the wheel falling behind the rest of the car as the number one of Jonathan Chicotto went towards turn one. Uh, the wheel helpfully stopping right by a marshal's post so that'll be out of the way jonathan's car will need to be recovered and that situation remember this was a car in third before the pit stops challenge b1 motorsports loris spinelli started the race yes and another wheel's off there's another wheel off on the circuit now who does that belong to this time it's a right rear i think that's come off a car now that has scooted across the track again at the 5-6 area, it's rolling back into the middle of the circuit, oh my goodness, this is very dangerous indeed, 42 minutes to go of the 50, it's rolling off the circuit, back down towards turn 6, and falls over, thankfully, on the grass, the it's, the seven seven. Yeah. it's the 7 car, it's the 7 car, Sheena Monk. Another prestige performance, Wayne Taylor racing car, that is just incredible. That's now 3 in 2 days, in 2 races, Sheena Monk in that 7 car, in the LB Cup for the least experienced drivers, the Paramus supported Urakan Super Trophy. Now she has gone straight on down the hill. Let's see if we get a full course yellow. Yes, we are going to get a full course yellow for this one. And as Sheena came out of turn number six, check that turn five, the wheel parted company right rear as I thought and disappeared now the wheel nut's already gone 33 in the pit lane and that's lost a wheel as well uh, I'm not sure that has it lost a wheel or was it did you just bring it in uh, well it looks, to, it looks to be sitting down on the left rear uh, the, the, no, I was watching it. Well, the, the pits here. are closed. Yes, right way, rear. Right rear gone on the 33. I yeah. thought it was sitting down. That's another Wayne Taylor racing well, car. And, and they brought the number one car in as well. So that's a cautionary. Yeah, I would think so. Because number one car was the, one, the only one that hadn't happened so far in this race. He's into pit lane as well. Well, the pits are closed right now. So they can't actually work on the car. They're going to drop off the lap. Nothing else that they could do for the 33. Because uh, that car had already lost its wheel for Cameron castles the one has come in as well with jonathan chicotto now jonathan was the one who lost the wheel yesterday and they're out they're out of the car well i'm sure that's i'm sure that's a more precautionary being erring on the side of safety you don't want to have a, a wheel fall off at a wrong place on this track and have a huge accident so that's just that's just bizarre for all four wind tiller racing, racing cars, cars this weekend and apparently i'm told no one else has had a problem on any other teams this weekend